the biggest government contractors, Parsons, going public a few moments ago, as you heard. Shares popped at the open. The company has projects from Saudi Arabia, Dubai to L.A. and Washington, focuses on defense, intelligence, and creating infrastructure through cybersecurity. With us this morning is the CEO and chairman of Parsons Corp., Charles Harrington, who's with us here at Post 9. Congratulations. Nice open. Thank Welcome. you, Carl. We're very proud of that. Give us a sense of what we should know about the company. You've been there almost half of its entire existence. Yes. So we're a company that transformed several times through our history, been in missile defense since the 40s. So we're a company that's cyber, intel, and critical infrastructure. Where's the fastest growth at this moment? Well, it's been missile defense and cyber and intelligence work. Uh, it, what, it characterized growth. I mean, uh, is, it, is it mostly in the hardware element or is it mostly in the software? Mostly software, and then we do what I call very bespoke hardware that it fits into those critical missions. Give us an example of that. Oh, high-speed processing units at 200 gigahertz, as an example. Um, working with hypersonics, uh, anti-hypersonic -hi technology. We're going to need to go back to school to get yeah. some of this. Yeah. Two percent of revenues, I think, in the last year uh, from the federal government. Yes. That would seem to obviously be a risk if there is some hiccup in spending. I know defense spending has been moving up, but the sequester may come in back into place the next fiscal year. Is that a concern? Well, for us, we believe in, we're in the parts of the defense spend that are the least likely. You know, because of a sequestration, hacks don't reduce. They probably increase. So when you're protecting the government's infrastructure and intelligence and also in this world of missile defense, we think those are pretty secure parts of the defense spend. And specific to the IPO, given your 75-year history, why go public? Well, we were public from 1969 to 1984, two of those last two years on the New York Stock Exchange. We always thought we'd probably go public again someday. So we've done a lot of growth through M&A, and this just helps us to continue that path. And what are you going to be doing with the proceeds of today's offering? Uh, they'll be used to buy down debt and uh, free up more dry powder. First government and services and aerospace and defense company to go public in nine years. Yeah. Why is that? Why haven't we seen that? You know, I don't know that I can answer why others haven't gone public, but for us, it's just a great opportunity. How much were you watching the markets? I mean, it's been a great year for an IPO, but a bumpy week. Yeah. And I just wonder if you encountered any of that, you know, in the days leading up to the raise here and the price. No, I think for, from our perspective, the part we were in was fairly stable. There was good earnings made by uh, most of the folks in, in our particular sector, so fairly stable. I mean, Early a day goes by that we don't seem to get news of another cyber intrusion of yeah. some kind. Yesterday, I think it was, or the day before, the New York Times reporting about NSA tactics or hack being used by the Chinese against the U.S. How serious is this problem? I mean, there are many who believe the next crisis will have cyber in front of it. Yeah, I think the two new domains for uh, warfare going forward are cybersecurity and space. And uh, it's something that this country needs to continue to be vigilant on every day of every week. Are we? Yes. We are. Yes, we, we are. can be confident that we are. Yes. With your help, I suppose. Yes. Are you an infrastructure play? If we do see some sort of um, miraculous bipartisan agreement around infrastructure spend, is that something that would be material for we you? Would, we would be benefited benefit from that, especially in the complex systems of airports and rail and transit systems and intelligent uh, highways and intelligent transportation networks. But you're doing all over the world, right? Yes. I mean, how significant do you think this trade fight escalation, you know, in increasing potentially the tariff rates to 25 percent on those Chinese imports would be? Well, I think as it relates to U.S. infrastructure, I'm not sure to be that material. Mo I mean, most of the uh, infrastructure in the U.S. is built with U.S. materials, U.S. or European products and U.S. services. Any exposure to China? No. None. Is that because of international or U.S. law or, or I guess is, are there restrictions to your growth in international markets? In, in certain parts of what we do there are. Right. So like Saudi Arabia, for example, we mentioned that in the, the intro. Yep. What kind of work is that? Is that more infrastructure as opposed to defense related? Predominantly large infrastructure pro programs and projects that we manage. And are there defense projects that you could take on overseas or? Yes, that... as a part of foreign military sales typically. And finally, you mentioned dry powder. I know you bought Polaris Alpha uh, about a year ago. Yep. Uh, are there other acquisitions to come as a result of your now having both a currency and dry powder, as you said? Yes, and we also closed on another company in January called OG Systems in the geospatial field. And so we're continually looking at uh, additional companies as they come up.